When we started this whole thing, of course I had to answer to some of my colleagues on my board the question, why do you want to reflect anyway? Uh, why? And I think it's important to do that because it's looking back into our past as youth workers to see where we come from. And also it makes us think about what we want to do. Because in everyday practice, that is sometimes difficult. In everyday practice, we can have a lot of ideals, but we also want to have a salary. So we follow the money. Which means that stakeholders who are paying our work having a main influence on the work we're doing. And that's not always positive. But of course, we still want to be employed. We still want to run our organizations. By big accident, two days ago I found this picture online, uh, which was kind of nice, because what you see here is a photo from 1930. They are building a hotel, actually this hotel, and actually the floor you see there, which still is to be filled by concrete, is the floor you sit on right now, which means it gives us a view of the past. And actually I think that's really important that we have a view of the past. Not from this hotel, but where we're coming from, why we are doing things, and why that is influencing our work of today. I mean, I'm not completely stupid. I know that we are now professional organizations, we need to be funded, but it's very good to look back uh, and see why somebody like Don Bosco started youth work and what were the thoughts behind it. And the problem of youth work at the moment is that we are not capable of telling what we are doing. We are not able to say this is youth work and if you want something else Please find, find somebody else. <laughs> Having a problem with North Korea, including nuclear threat, good work will solve it for you. Right? <laughs> United States because I didn't want to offend one of our European countries. <laughs> Just imagine, I'm the major of redneck country and I have police officers working for me and they have this car and I would tell them, like, okay, what are you doing? Well, drive around the street and once a month we arrest somebody and every week we have a ticket for high speeding and that's our job. And I would tell them, like, but since you have time and you have a nice truck and you can have some extra things in it, could you please also collect the garbage? They would tell me, no way, we're police enforcement, we're not going to collect the garbage. And I would tell them, but listen, I mean, society really needs people to collect the garbage. It's really important and it's really efficient if you do it. And they would tell me, no. And then I could ask them, like, well, another thing we want in this city is that people stay in their own home for a long time. So they don't have to go to the elderly homes, um, because that saves us money. But could you do their shopping? Because you still have this car, you have plenty of room, and you can do it, and you have a lot of time. And they would tell them, no, we're police officers, we're just writing our tickets and we arrest people. And everybody thinks that's completely normal. And the stupid thing is, when it comes to youth work, we don't do that. I mean, youth work has to be very careful not to be a prostitute and only the price can be discussed. Youth work has to learn to say no, even if it costs money. Even if it means that you work goes back to voluntary services, we have to be very clear 
om wat youth work is en wat youth work is not. By that conclusion, my conclusion, I would like to thank you very much for being here. I had a great three days and I think it was very productive. Thank you.